Hey guys, it's Mama J. Welcome back and wonderful Wednesday to you. Uh, today is day three in our series, uh, Countdown to Repticon. And this is a series, if you're just getting started today, is um, one where I am featuring a reptile every day this week, uh, an animal that you might see uh, as you go to a Repticon show. I thought this would be a great opportunity to introduce you to kind of the five basic reptiles that you would see at a show. Uh, those would be a bearded dragon, a leopard gecko, Pac-Man frog, uh, ball python, and crested gecko. So just a brief introduction to each one of those animals, and I hope that you'll stay with me and join me throughout the week and get excited about the show this weekend. So let's get started. Now today we are talking about Pac-Man frogs. Now, a Pac-Man frog's scientific name is Ceratopus ornata, and basically what that means is um, ornate horned frog. Uh, so, horned frog is another name that you may hear them under. Now, a Pac-Man frog is just a wonderful frog that's in the pet trade today. And one reason that I love these guys is that they have a big round body, and best of all, they have a big mouth. And it's just like the video game Pac-Man. These guys are sit and wait predators and they will sit down in the dirt or the substrate and they actually uh, sit with themselves buried down in the dirt. And all that you see is these little eyes just peeking up out of the dirt. And what they do is they wait for a prey item to come by. So be it a cricket or a worm or any type of a insect like that that happens to walk by that Pac-Man frog, all of a sudden those eyes kind of peep around and chomp and he gets the prey. And it's just so much fun to watch. I call my Pac-Man frogs my little trash compactors because they will uh, lunge at anything that moves, including fingers. So uh, always good to have some feeding tongs on hand. But these are... Uh, captive bred animals very much now. You will see them in the pet trade in lots of different colors. Uh, green is very popular. You will see albino and strawberry Pac-Mans and all kinds of variations like that. Now just to give you a little bit of background about them, um, when you first see a Pac-Man frog at a show, um, they're about the size of a quarter and these guys can grow um, a male can grow to be about four inches in diameter, and a female frog can grow to be about seven inches in diameter. So we're, we're talking a frog here, but uh, they are very easy to care for. An adult frog can live in a 10-gallon tank its entire life, and the best type of substrate for them is some type of a coconut fiber um, dirt and the reason that I say that is because they do really like, it's a loose substrate and it's one that they're able to burrow down in and they love to get down in the dirt and they kind of scoot their bottom down in and sort of snug in and wait for that cricket or worm to come by. So that's just a brief overview for you on Pac-Man frogs just to give you a little bit of an introduction to the animal. They are great pets and I have thoroughly enjoyed having mine. They're definitely worth checking out at the show, or if you happen to be in a pet store, look for one of these guys. They're really a fun animal to get to watch. Now, a special shout out today to uh, three of my favorite boys that I think may be watching today. So, Easton, Maddox, and Dane. Hey from Miss Stacy. And they sent me a picture of their leopard gecko yesterday. Um, their leopard gecko's name is Coco and is just the cutest gecko. And that gave me the greatest idea of one thing that I would like to do this week is you guys send me your pictures. I would love to see a reptile that you have that maybe we're talking about this week. You can direct message me on Instagram. Uh, that's probably the best way. Or if you want to post your picture on Instagram and link me to it some way, um, I would love to get your pictures. And I will put those in my next video. I thought it'd be fun to do a little montage of all of our pets and just really celebrate animals this week as we do this countdown to Repticon. So, hope you guys have a great day. And tomorrow we will be talking about ball pythons and maybe have a little extra surprise in there as well.
So stay tuned for tomorrow. Be sure and uh, click the uh, subscription button and bell notification so you'll know when that video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.